Hi everyone. Just a quick video update here to talk about the Santa Ana winds coming into Southern California. This is Alex Tardy, meteorologist from National Weather Service. Looks like there will be some impact from the wind and also looks like two events that have Santa Ana winds will be unfolding. Here are the key points. This is Santa Ana number three for this fall. Fuel moisture is wet uh, for the widespread heavy rain last week. We'll see on election day. Humidity will be very low though on Wednesday and Thursday. So we're gonna have a lot of drying. Uh, the winds will be moderate, locally strong offshore. So the wind prone areas could see some strong winds for sure. Uh, late Tuesday night and all through Wednesday daylight hours. The morning could be the strongest in the canyons and highway passes where there'll be most at risk, such, such as high profile vehicles. Several hours of elevated fire weather danger. The fuels will be drying significantly, um, so we'll lose a lot of the benefit from last week's rain. Another Santa Ana wind is on track. Um, not the same type or intensity, but on track for late Friday through Saturday this weekend. More low humidity and gusty winds, especially Saturday morning offshore winds again. Okay, we had beneficial rain. Uh, you can see on the right hand side where was it most unusual and heaviest? Yes, San Bernardino County Mountains and the Inland Empire. The purple shaded for a two week period, almost eight times as wet as it normally would be for that same period. Temperatures were cool too, that same area. Not a coincidence, uh, it was cold during the storm but also after the storm with cold nights. Very beneficial, the atmospheric river struck Southern California and moved up into Utah in the purple shaded area. The weather pattern as such, uh, the red line was the area that brought the storminess and tapped into the atmospheric river. So this is an average weather pattern of the two week period. Cold air was brought down from Western Canada with this weather pattern. There is elevated fire danger in Southwest California as shown here. So the orange shaded area means uh, that fires with ignition could start and spread. The largest fires and greatest threat is north of LA shown here. The wind, the wind will be the biggest impact I think. The wind corridors, the mountain passes and canyons. Santa Ana wind blows from the desert to the ocean. Cold air over the desert, warmer air over the ocean, high to low pressure. These wind corridors in orange will see wind gusts up around 50 miles per hour the most wind prone areas up around 70 plus miles per hour. So we gotta watch out, uh, especially on Wednesday, starting late Tuesday night in those dark shaded areas, the Cajon Pass, Highway 60, um, even parts of the 10 uh, going through Beaumont, uh, Highland Springs area, and then down in San Diego County as well, Interstate 8, and not to forget uh, Highway 78 in San Diego County. All right, humidity will be really dry. So um, this is gonna be a dry event, dry air coming in from the Great Basin behind the storm system passing to our east. Humidity down to 10%, a lot of areas. Temperatures, it'll be warm, not hot, uh, but temperatures will be above average, well into the 70s, maybe touching 80 in the warmer spots on the coast. Mountains, notice the mountains, um, how the cold air rushes in with the Santa Ana wind on Wednesday. But then we see significant warming on Thursday when the winds relax. Humidity is going to stay low most of the week. And then we're going to see another surge of Santa Ana wind with humidity back down again, 10 to 15% on Saturday this upcoming weekend. The weather pattern is such storm system is moving by to our east. So we're on the back side, the dry, windy side as it's coming down from Western Canada. It does set up the weather pattern though to deliver those offshore flow. Okay, uh, the storm is gonna exit on Wednesday, but we're gonna see another system coming in across the Great Basin. A little bit different type of a system, not as pronounced, more broad, but nonetheless it develops and reinforces that offshore flow, the Santa Ana wind. 
All right, at weather.gov, be sure to check out where the high wind warnings are exactly in place. Uh, this shows geographically those wind corridors we talked about earlier, where the most likelihood of impact to high profile vehicles, loose objects, buildings, and trees. Summary, this is the third Santa Ana wind event of the fall. It's gonna be strong in some areas, wind gusts, wind prone areas over 70 miles per hour, and other areas 40 to 50 miles per hour, including some of our valley locations and major thoroughways. The fire weather danger is there, though we're calling it elevated because we have a lot of wet fuel that will be drying. Another Santa Ana wind will follow on its heels, it looks like late Friday into Saturday with continued drying, uh, erasing a lot of the benefits we saw from the rain last week. Here are some links across uh, Southern California to check out for weather.gov at San Diego. You can follow the current weather at the link shown here.